Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to try laser cutter cutting this um, big rubber plug. So, what I'm doing is working on kind of experimenting with a new um, venting system for the laser. And one of the things I do is I need to cut out a hole in this to receive this from the underside. So, this goes in the underside and this pops through the plastic and a hose connects to it. So, I decided why not give it a shot with the laser so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot with the laser and let's see what happens Okay, welcome back. So I wanted to show this, so just how thick this plug is. So I was trying to cut, this is about 17 millimeters of rubber. So um, interestingly enough, at full power, if I don't throw my calibers on the floor, I want you to, sh to show you, it actually cut this far in, um, well, about at least two-thirds, easily two-thirds of the way in it cut. Now I had to clean it out with it with a utility knife but it actually cut an amazing if I get it over here in frame it actually cut an amazing distance because you can kind of see down here cut to about where the, the edge of my thumb is and, and the whole scope of things and you can see in this other band because on some of the passes it didn't reset itself so it didn't even get a full like three passes you can kind of see it did a pass out of sequence but how far it actually did cut into the rubber so I'm actually a little surprised that this little guy cut that far into that thick of a piece of rubber. Um, I did have the air assist running pretty hard, you know, blowing material out and so, and running at full bore. So, anyways, hey, thought this might be interesting. Um, again, how much would it cut out? Uh, well, we kind of know now. So, uh, the other thing is, make sure you got good ventilation because, uh, you know, this stuff will stink. Fortunately, again, I've got a pretty big vacuum system attached to this to pull out the fumes from this because it does make a lot of fumes and that's the other thing with the air assist they turn it up quite a bit so the the fumes wouldn't come back up into the lens and so uh, you can kind of see it on my fingers the the burnt rubber um, however it actually did work kind of good so uh, anyways hey hopefully you found this interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe more of this coming you got any questions about this hit me up in the comments below cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.